Recently, Hurricane Helene hit the southeast U.S., causing major damage and flooding in states such as Tennessee and the Carolinas. The need for help is plenty, and some area residents may want to contribute but aren't sure how to do so effectively. Mountaintop News spoke with Pike County Relief Service Chair Sandy Penix to learn what can be done. Some of the big organizations that helped, of course, Red Cross. Uh, Redcross.org, you can go online. That was a wonderful opportunity to help. And then, of course, we have, uh, well, look at me, look, a Cajun Navy. I'm sure some of you have actually seen some of the work that they're doing already down there, uh, going out. They're usually boots on the ground first, and so that's another, another one that was here, and they stayed with us for about a year and a half. And then, of course, UMCOR, Presbyterian Missions, Catholic Charities, Disciples of Christ, Samaritan's Purse, and there's so many others. But those were all groups that helped with us in Pike County. So they're wonderful opportunities to help. It is the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless. So how about an iPhone 13 for a penny on the mix and match or unlimited plan? The season of saving and upgrading. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Items that are very much needed include drinking water, cleaning supplies, and basic toiletries. Conversely, clothing, furniture, and bedding items are not preferable donations at this time as they can be difficult to transport and handle. Water, of course, is the most dire need at this moment, but also personal hygiene. We have a lot of uh, requests for personal hygiene products. Uh, we're talking about you know, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, hand towels, towels, uh, feminine hygiene products, diapers, uh, all of those, a comb, all of those things are needed right now. I mean, they have nothing. And then, of course, another big item is cleaning kits, things that you would use, you know, if you're mucking out your home. Shovels, that's a big one. Mops, large trash bags, gloves, uh, cleaning supplies like Clorox and dish soap and disinfectant wipes, all of those things can be purchased either all together to create what we consider a flood bucket or they can be purchased just separately and donated. 